Back here now, crews are back at a home in Fruitland continuing their search for Michael Vaughn. Investigators have been excavating the yard of a house that's only about a four minute drive from the Vaughn home. Police believe Michael's remains are there. Michael disappeared from his neighborhood in July of 2021. We'll be sure to update you when we learn more about what investigators discover. And many of you have reached out asking how to help the Vaughn family. So friends of the Vaughn family have put together a few ways the community can send love and support to the parents and siblings of little Michael. There's a meal train for the Vaughns and an Amazon holiday wish list. You can find all that information online at the link on your screen right now. It's findmichaelvaughn.com slash holiday dash help. Also in this case, today a judge ruled the woman charged in connection to the disappearance of Michael Vaughn is mentally unfit to proceed in the case. The judge says 35-year-old Sarah Wandra is not able to help in her own defense. She faces a charge of failure to report a death. Under Idaho law, she cannot go to trial if she is not mentally fit to do so. The preliminary hearing was supposed to be tomorrow, but that's been postponed until Friday, December 23rd. Wandra is being transferred to custody of the Idaho Department of Health and Welfare for treatment. The commitment order is in effect for up to 90 days.